All right, back outdoors now. Here's a live look from our Discover Newport camera. Great day to be outdoors. Great day to be on the coast. Camilla, mm -hmm. I was, we're like thinking like, when's the rain going to come? But I like, know. Nowhere in sight. It's huh? almost like, yeah, it's kind of just that faucet shut off a little bit earlier than what mm -hmm. we're used to. It was a very dry May. And for now, the beginning of June is looking really dry too. We'll talk a little bit more about our dry streak coming up. Uh, here's the view right now in the South Salem Hills from our Willamette Valley Vineyards camera. Looks super pleasant there, 76 degrees. I do see a few people out there on the patio, and here's the view along the Columbia River. Our Mary Hill Tasting Room and Bistro Camera in Vancouver. Lots of sunshine and a comfortably warm afternoon. Uh, radar quiet for us here in the metro area, but I am seeing some thunderstorms in central Oregon. You can see them kind of bubbling up south of Bend. Uh, looks like they're over Lapine right now. Uh, some showers there as you head south along uh, Highway 97. Uh, let's talk about our wind gusts here. It is going to be getting a little bit breezy. Well, staying breezy, I should say, because it was breezy out there today. So uh, here's the plan for the next couple of days. You can see uh, west side of the metro area going to be feeling the wind gust tomorrow morning and then it kind of spreads east throughout the metro area tomorrow afternoon. So that's going to be a north wind. Uh, could be gusting up to 30 miles per hour. I think that's fair to say. By the time we get to Tuesday morning, we're actually switching to an easterly wind. So uh, the east side of the metro area will be feeling that first. You can see that kind of spreading by midday on Tuesday. So sort of big picture what's ahead. Unusually warm and dry. That's going to continue through next Friday. Next couple of days, sunny warm but we've got that gusty wind each afternoon and we are looking ahead at a couple hot weather days here so Tuesday and Wednesday we're thinking temperatures will be around 90 degrees uh, in the Portland area so you can see that here uh, very gusty out along the beaches as well this is tonight here's tomorrow morning still that northerly flow here coming down kind of that I-5 corridor and then tomorrow evening slight chance of a shower or maybe a thunderstorm there in central Oregon otherwise everyone's staying Staying dry there you can see that switch to that offshore flow Tuesday morning so red arrows uh, we know that that easterly wind this time of year is a warm dry wind so this is what's going to help heat us up on Tuesday into the low 90s it's looking like then we get to Wednesday morning we're seeing a little bit more cloud cover a little bit more onshore flow maybe starting to sneak into uh, the interior valleys uh, and if you're curious about our longest dry spells in Portland we're, of course, a ways away. We barely just started the summer, but uh, summer of last year, we had 67 consecutive dry days. We're, we're sitting at 20 right now. We haven't seen rain uh, for 21 days. Here's your Portland area forecast for tomorrow. More dry, sunny weather, and we'll be topping out in the low 80s. Here's that seven day forecast. So just going to get warmer as we head through Tuesday. We'll hit the low 90s. So very hot afternoons Tuesday and Wednesday, but then we're going to start to cool uh, down fairly quickly. We've got a uh, kind of a low pressure trough that's going to be sneaking in. You're going to see more cloud cover there end of the week. We'll be around 80 degrees there on Friday, turning cloudier. And then Saturday and Sunday, I see a slight shower chance there, but it's not a great one. I think things are still trending kind of drier and warmer. All of these high temperatures, by the way, warmer than average for this time of year. Anna? All right. Thanks, Camilla.